Now, before I show you how to install the GNS3 VM, uh, let me show you the web GUI. Under Tools, we have this option, Web UI, Topology Preview. And I'm gonna select Chrome in this example. I've had problems using Edge, so I'm gonna use Chrome as my browser. Notice I'm connected to 127.001 port 3080. And notice this is the project that I created. So under File, First Project, that's the Windows GUI, but under the Web GUI, I can see something similar. So there's my first project once again. And as you can see, there's my GNS3 topology in the Web GUI. Now, one of the things that you probably want to do if you want to make use of this web GUI is go to Open Menu, Servers. Click over here and click Settings. I want to enable experimental features. Now, please note the web GUI is read-only at the moment. I've enabled the experimental features, which allows me to change the way the application works. So I've enabled some read-write features by enabling the experimental features. Notice what happens here. In the Windows GUI, I'm gonna delete this link and you'll see the same thing happen in the Web GUI. In the Web GUI, if I select Ethernet 0 and then connect to Ethernet 0 on the switch, notice that link displays in the GUI interface. Now it's still experimental. Notice the interface numbers are not showing up right here. But again, if I select that and delete it through the Windows GUI and then add it back through the Windows GUI, that displays in the Web GUI. And I can move things around in the Web GUI and it affects the Windows GUI. So the graphical user interfaces replicate one another. As an example, if I start up the devices in the topology, notice I see them starting up in the web GUI, but I also see them starting up in the Windows user interface. Now the web GUI doesn't currently have a console connection. So if I wanna to connect to the consoles, I still have to do that through the Windows graphical user interface. Again, in version 2.2.0 of GNS3, the web GUI or the web graphical user interface is read only. I've got some experimental features that I'm using here to do things, but it still needs to be worked on. So it's not 100% yet. But notice when I add stuff through the web GUI, it's displayed in the Windows GUI. Even though it's not 100%, this will hopefully be better when it becomes the latest release rather than a beta release. And hopefully in version 2.2.1, we'll have read write through the web GUI. So I mean, as an example, I can stop this device and you'll see it'll stop in the Windows GUI. Right click here, click stop, it stops over there. Right click start, starts in both interfaces. Right click here, start starts up in both interfaces. So as an example, I could add another VPCS device to the topology and then add a link from this VPCS device to the ethernet switch. And notice that that's what you'll see in the Windows graphical user interface. So I'll make this a bit smaller. Notice the Windows graphical user interface replicates what's seen in the web UI. I could go to projects and as an example, add a blank project, let's say web UI project, click add the project, click add devices. So let's add a VPCS device 
So there we go. Let's add another VPCS device. Let's add Ethernet switch. There we go. Notice this is a different project to the one that I was working on previously. I'm just showing you that you can create a project through the web UI on Genius 3 version 2.2. It's experimental once again. So on this Windows graphical user interface, I'm gonna to go to File, Open Project. I'm gonna to go to my projects directory and notice here's a new project that's been opened or create it, and there you go. I've been able to open that through the graphical Windows UI. Now, again, these are in real time. So if I move that there, that's updated in the web UI. Show interface labels here. On this side, I'll start up a node. Notice it's starting up over there and starting up over there. So this is not a perfect user interface, but it's a work in progress. Hopefully in version 2.2.1, the web UI will be fully integrated and we can do away in a lot of cases with the Windows UI. In future, GNS3 will most likely move to only having a VM and not using the graphical user interface. So at the moment we have this Windows graphical user interface, but we also have the GNS3 VM, but in future we may only have the GNS3 VM. It's not perfect yet, but there you go, that's the web UI in GNS3 version 2.2.